beneath this bare and arid land lies an untold fortune. Uranium, over $80 million worth from this mine alone. The lifeblood of what was once a thriving community of 1,100 people. When prospectors Walton and McConaughey lodged their claim here in 1954, they formed a syndicate to exploit an estimated 3 million tons of uranium ore. The syndicate was named after McConaughey's wife, Mary Kathleen. Today, Mary Kathleen is the name of a virtual ghost town. This open-air theatre was once crowded every night. Now the screen is empty, like the town's many other facilities. On September the 30th, 1963, the contract for the sale of uranium expired. It was not renewed. There are still 30 families here, less than 100 people, so parking is no longer a problem. But hopes are high that the machinery will roll again. Hopes like those expressed by Prime Minister Robert Menzies in 1958 when he officially opened the project. Then Mary Kathleen had a product to sell and a market to sell it to. In those days, the processing plant was operating 24 hours a day, separating the heavy uranium oxide from the crushed ore. In America and Britain, complex refineries would reduce the oxide to the parent metal. From this came uranium-235, the radioactive isotope which unlocked the door to the atomic age. Now, with federal government approval, the mine will open again, meaning new life for this, Australia's richest ghost town. Overlooking Sydney Harbour, 